Hi there. Welcome to another video. Um, now this video is going to be about narcissistic personalities um, and what creates those type of personalities. Now, I'm not a psychologist or doctor or anything like that. I'm talking because I've knew people like this. And also, before the spiritual awakening, I was on a path of narcissistic, um, ego, fear, insecurity. And because I was on that journey, you could say I've got insight into the narcissist. Um, a psychologist that's never had experience of feeling that way can't under, really understand. They can read things of somewhere, they can repeat things, but that's the thing about doing a course on something, it's different to experience it. Like spirituality. You, can, you get courses, you get a PhD in spirituality, but it can't get you the awakening, so... Um, that noise there is just kittens playing. playing aggressively with each other but but um I'll carry on uh, as as I'm doing um yeah the narcissist narcissistic personalities what I want to talk about today is how that narcissistic personalities gets exposed sometimes with narcissistic people they t a lot of the time, they don't want th that side of them to be taken out because then the, the, the monster starts coming out, the jealousy starts coming out. They, they start feeling low about, th about themselves. Low self-image starts coming into play. And, you know, I've had experience with these kind of people and what they tend to do is, if, they, if you are talking... For example, it could be any subject and they think you know more than them. Then you'll start to see the narcissist coming out. Right. Then what the narcissist usually tries to do. What they really want to do is they want to make you feel. They want to bring you down, make you feel bad. To bring themselves up. Um, like they might suggest things to you. They might suggest, you know, um, you're going to end up like this person. You're going to end up like your mum. Oh, you, you can't do that. And the reason they're doing that is it's, it's a suggestion. People are always given, we always give suggestions to each other. But most people aren't aware of it. They're not aware that they're suggesting something to you. We are all actually hypnotists. <laughs> That's what we are. And you don't start to be aware of it until you become you start being aware of it. And once you start paying attention, you start to think, this person is actually trying to suggest things. And oh, everyone does it. We all do it. Um, a person that is trying to impose a, a harder suggestions, the more they're trying to do that, then the deeper their insecurities. Um, that's why they feel they must impose their beliefs onto you um, because it makes them feel more secure if, you, if you're accepting to it. The worst thing for those kind of people is when they get confronted with someone who doesn't play. Someone who, for example, is like immune to their narcissism, who doesn't really flinch. You know, if you, if you become a person that is now non-reactive to it because you won't be reactive to it. If you, you know, when we react to things, it's always to do with us. That person might be a narcissist, but how you react to it is to do with your inner feelings about yourself. Other people may trigger them, but it's actually you that's responsible for it. Right? And But when you start to not react and you start to... The reason you're not reacting, when you start to do a lot of healing, for example, like I've went through a spiritual awakening now for just under 10 years, 
I'm non-reactive to these things because it doesn't bother me, you see. It doesn't bother me because I feel secure now within me. And because I feel secure, I don't feel the need to, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't get, my feelings doesn't come into it. Because that's what happens when, once you do a lot of healing. You know, I've, I've I had an unexpected spiritual awakening just under 10 years ago. And since then I've done so much healing and I haven't had depression now for just about five years. So when I'm confronted, when I have a narcissist in my company and I'm talking about stuff, now I could be just be talking politely and openly. And what you'll see with the narcissist is they will then, they will, they will start talking to other people about you. They'll start saying bad th things. Oh, he's, he thinks he knows it all. He's talking down to me. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get other people on their side to attack you. Because in their eyes, you are the enemy. You have made them feel in such a way that they need to do this. They need to um, bring you down a peg or two because it intimidates them. Narcissists um, is all about their image and what they have in this life. They can't stand the thought of their power not being good enough. And you see, it's all about it's all about the self. It's all about the ego. Um, and this is why they behave how they do. A lot of people talk about narcissism, but at the core of it all is ego. Ego, and that's in relation to inner fears, and it all relates to the subconscious mind. Um, because in the subconscious. We have traumas, and the HeartMath Institute has shown how these trauma energies work in our physical bodies, and they and they create our physical reality. Our reality isn't just made up of our consciousness, conscious mind in the present. It's it's to do with subconsciousness as well, and this can be this can result in narcissism as well in this life. That's how you can, you might get you'll get people who are murderers and crazy people and they've had great upbringings because they're suffering from past life trauma, right? And it's all in the, all in the subconsciousness because once you go to start going with the subconsciousness, you can heal these things. You can heal all the narcissism and stuff once you start to meditate and tune into your subconsciousness. You do this in a, by spiritually awakening. You spiritually awaken by letting go of, of the ego and being present and letting your soul lead the way. But it only happens when you really mean it. But, um, yeah, but, you know, that's how you heal it. And in my videos about things like this, I try, to, I try to always give a message on how to heal it. But the narcissist, yeah, they, they fear the person that whoever is... A threat to their self-image, their their self-worth. You know, if 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 they're confronted by someone like that, you'll start you'll start to see the monster. Now, a lot of the time, or sometimes, you you'll get narcissists that they don't want to show them reveal themselves. Because they're worried that they're going to be exposed. So that's why a lot of the time they'll do it in, in ways that you don't notice. They'll tie side, try to suggest things to you. You know, you're going to end up like your parents. You're going to, you're going to, something bad's going to happen to you. You know, this kind of stuff. And whatever message someone gives to you, it's always that they mean to say it to you. <laughs> we say what we feel. Whatever I think of you or feel towards you, I will say it. People always do this. But some people don't pay attention to it, you see. You see, nothing's by accident. Even if it's subconscious, it's not an accident. But yeah, this this is something that I've experienced and I think I think, you know, I've been confronted with, and also myself, but I've been confronted by people like this. And I notice it's when I'm starting to 
when I'm being very open, and I've noticed that when you're around people that are quite fearful and egotistical and, and narcissistic, I'm very open by nature. So I naturally am just open. And now I'm very into this awakening and I talk about this openly. But when you're around a narcissistic person with a lot of fear, when, you, when, you, when I start being this way, this open way, which I naturally am, it's very intimidating for them. Because what's obviously happening, it's making them think about their own things that, that they don't like. They're starting to feel bad about themselves because they're, they're comparing themselves with you, you see. This is, what, what they, which, this is what egotistical people do. And this is what, what can create insecurities. It does. Because we're comparing ourselves to other people instead of looking at other people as guides and saying, right, okay, um, you know, what can I learn from this person instead of how can I, how much better am I than this person? That needs to be the, fo the change of attention, of focus. You know, because at some point, if you're comparing yourself, at some point someone's going to be better than you. They're not actually better than you, but you're going to think that if you're comparing all the time. It's going to come a point where, you know, but the, you've got to understand there is no better or worse. We're all one. It's just that we've got different qualities. Different qualities, that's it. People are obsessed with better or worse. And yeah, this can get you down. I used to, when I, for this awakening, I used to think like this. I used to think like this. I used to be obsessive over myself. I used to, and I was... It used to, used to drive me crazy and I would get very, very depressed. And then once I had this awakening, I, he I healed from all that. Um, and now, like I say, I haven't had any depression since, um, for, well, for just about five years. I was 28 when I, when I cured the depression and I'm 33 on my birthday. But, um, yeah, I like to do videos on this. You know, I, I got into this narcissism thing, obviously... It, I was on YouTube one day years ago and I found out about this and then I started to speak about it because then I realized that, hey, I've, I've, I've been like this a little bit myself so that I've got insight also of new people like this. But because I was on that pathway myself and I've new people also, that's, that makes, I'm able to understand the narcissistic person or the narcissistic personality. But yeah, it's 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 a beast. It's a beast within. You know, we've all got some sort of beast within us, and um, you know, I'll, I'll, sometimes a lot of the time with the narcissist, they they don't want to feel that way because when they feel that way, it doesn't make them feel good. So they won't want to feel that way. They don't want to be narcissistic. They don't feel good when they're being like that. You know, but th they will. They see it as as no other option. You know, and, and what tends to trigger the narcissist, I've noticed it with my awakening. I've noticed it with online as well. Narcissistic people on the internet that are saying they're spiritual. This awakening exposes it. Because I've had this unexpected spiritual awakening, a lot of narcissistic people that have done spiritual courses, they've contacted me in the past and they've, they're have they complete narcissists. And um, because they haven't had that big awakening like me, they start to, their, their narcissism starts to come out. And they're not loving people at all. But this is, I've noticed that the awakening seems to expose the narcissist. Because awakening and healing is really what the narcissist wants deep down. They want love, they want healing, they want to be, like, to be gone of this monster that is haunting them. Which is their own insecurities and emotions. And that's why they get jealous of you when you've healed all this, you see. They just wish, and so, so they, they think that other people should feel like them. And then they feel like a cunt, excuse my language, for, for doing that. Um, so, you know, the, the way to heal it, like I say, is to just let go of this ego self and pres let presence guide you and you'll start to heal it 
But I'm just going to leave it there. Um, for latest updates, videos, blogs, etc., please do visit my website at www.lovelikefamily.com. Thank you for watching and listening.